Welcome back guys, you are watching Brothers Together. In this video, we will be covering the basics of how to get started with coding including how to choose a programming language and resources also which may help you along the way. Before moving on with the video, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, immediately click on the subscribe button so that you will never miss out any important videos like this. So I have been uploading many informative videos regarding how to study for an internal, regarding many scholarships and even in the coming days I am planning of uploading videos regarding many informative topics like freelancing, regarding placements, preparation and all. So to never miss out on that content, I would suggest you to click on the notifications button too so that that will help you get notified once I upload any kind of new video guys. So with that note, let's start the video guys. Step 1, choose a programming language. The first step in learning to code is to choose a programming language guys. So there are many different programming languages to choose from, each with their own advantages and disadvantages. Some uh, popular options include Python, a popular general purpose programming language known for its readability. So and it, even it's very easy to use too. So it is known for its both readability and the ease to use it. And then comes JavaScript, a popular language for web development. If you are someone who is interested in web development and that particular domain, then JavaScript is the best choice for you guys. Then comes Java, a popular general purpose programming language often used for enterprise applications. That comes under uh, Android development. And then C++, you may all know, so it's a high performance programming language commonly used in game development. And uh, people generally prefer C++ and C to start off their coding journey. So when they are new to this coding and all, people generally prefer C and C++. But what generally I feel is, since I too was from a PCMB, so from a biology background, and then when I shifted to this completely different background, which is computer science. So I started with started off with by learning Python itself, guys. So since Python is very much readable, and then its readability is also very high, and along with that, it's easy, uh, it's very much easy to use too. So hence I took Python and I am doing well guys. So even I would like to suggest Python to you too. So whatever you do, you should learn one programming language correctly guys. While choosing a programming language, consider what you want to use it for. If you are interested in web development, as I already said, if you are interested in web development, then JavaScript will be a good choice for you. And then if you are interested in data science and regarding AIML and all, so Python will be the best one for you. It depends on the same, depends on which domain you are interested in. It will be great if you choose a programming language which suits your uh, domain of interest guys. On to the second step, step two is to find resources to learn from. There are many resources available online. It may be via tutorials, it can be via videos and it can be via uh, interactive coding exercises and all. So you should make use of it in the best possible manner guys. So some popular options include Code Academy, an online learning platform that offers interactive coding exercises through which you can practice and you can th sail through your coding journey. And the next one is Free Code Camp, a non-profit organization that offers comprehensive coding curriculum through which you can plan your coding journey. So the entire thing is already there and you can go step by step. So when you go step by step, the things become very much clear. Since it provides a comprehensive coding curriculum, you will be clear about what to do next. So what have you done and then what you have to learn. So this is one advantage of it. Then comes Coursera. It's also an online learning platform which uh, provides uh, courses from top universities like Stanford, like Harvard and all. So if you haven't checked it out, immediately check it out once guys. So I have given uh, the links for all these platforms in my description. So, and last but not the least, it's YouTube guys. So many content creators have already uploaded, many content creators have already uploaded brilliant content on YouTube. Even I'll be sharing some useful videos which helped me during my initial days when I started to learn Python guys. So that will be a great benefit to you if you check it out once. This was the second step guys. That was to find resources that help you. Next, moving on to the step three. Step three is very simple guys. Step three is to start coding. Most important step in learning to code is actually to start coding guys. So once you have found resources to learn from, it's time to start working through some uh, coding exercises. As you work through the material, just try to apply whatever you learned in those tutorials. It may be regarding a project. It may be by solving coding questions. It may be regarding your own project. So when you do some own projects on your own, so that will give an hands-on experience. No kind of tutorial in this entire world will be able to provide that level of uh, knowledge which the experience gives you. What I would like to suggest to you is when you start coding, just try to create your own project. So there are many projects which, can, which are already present in the internet, which can be done during your initial days of coding. So choose one among them and just start to code on your own. When you do, uh, when you do something on your own, that stays in your mind, and then that is that will be definitely sent to your long-term memory. Basically, what I am trying to say here is to create a small project that you can work on and improve over time. So once you are done with any kind of projects on your own, so make sure that you put it in our comment section too, so that I will be getting to know that you are on a good journey. So I hope you all will start coding at least from today, guys. So just don't put it for the next day. Start coding today itself guys. It will take you a lot ahead from your peers who have not at all started coding until now. Learning to code can be a challenging 
but in the same time a rewarding experience. By choosing a programming language, by finding the resources to learn from and by starting to code, you will be on your way to becoming a proficient programmer. Remember to be patient and persistent. Coding is a skill that takes time and practice to master. I hope all of you have understood the entire uh, roadmap regarding how to start learning to code. I would like to wish all the best for each and every one of you who are, who are going to start their coding journey from now on. This was it guys. I enjoyed a lot when I was sharing these steps which will make you a proficient programmer with you. So if you did the same, immediately click on the like button so that that will give me some motivation for the same kind of videos in the coming future. If you have any doubts or if you have any suggestions regarding uh, my upcoming videos or if you have any doubts regarding uh, Python or regarding it, maybe regarding anything, feel free to put it on the comment section so that I'll be able to think what can be done regarding it. Last but not the least, I'd like to tell you regarding our Telegram group wherein around 850 to 900 engineering students are conducting efficient discussions are helping each other. Students over there belong to different corners of Karnataka. Each one is able to express his own thoughts. So everybody are helping each other and a conducive environment is being created over there. So if you want to see all the benefits which you can get to suggest you to join the telegram group if you haven't joined yet. So that will benefit you a lot. Then share this video to your friends too so that even they will be able to start their coding journey from today guys. Thank you guys. Thank you. We will meet in the next video. Bye.